The Hot Wheels Snap Rights packages say race on the track. Well, okay. In my review of the Snap Rights truck and trailer, I showed how it comes with different models and different parts to customize your vehicles. I also showed that on the side it's got different singles you can purchase separately. I chose the Bone Shaker. Now, I figured if I'm going to do a track test, let's go ahead and get the other singles as well. I'm not going to show a detailed put together of the cars because I did that in the other video. But I know some people would like to see what components are available in the Funny Car Pack. I think that is a funny side up. Comes with two different drivers, a base, and look, it's got mixed wheels on the right. You have a, a little five spoke chrome one, and then it looks like a red rim open hole five spoke. So that's what's available in this pack. On the left, looks like a Gator in green. On the right, pretty wild engine. Looks like the guy has like a mask on. Maybe it's for flying through the air. The orange model looks like chicane. Comes with a blue interior, two different sets of wheels. The driver kind of looks like uh kind of looks like he might be a little wild. Maybe kind of looks like the guy from Back to the Future a little bit. This was a little different. It's got two different bases, so you can uh, mix and match. By the way, all of these are interchangeable. And oh yeah, look, chicane. It's got a little piece to pop on the roof too. And the last one looks like Ren and Rig. It's got a white spoiler for you to attach. Two sets of wheels, one gold, one chrome, have an interior. Here's the interior. Hey, but look, it's different. Usually the motor's in front and the driver's down here, but since it's a truck, he, he's got to be there. I wonder if, actually what this would look like if you, if you put him in a car and had him popping up out of the hood. And he has a uh, light blue base, but if you would like to make a black one, you could just use one from another set. And the driver... Looks like a football player to me. It looks like a football helmet. Hey, Ren and Rig, it did have a black base. I didn't see it. It had two bases for you to use. The black one was hiding behind the label. So I set this one up like a monster truck. I used the higher wheels. He's up in the air. Here's the attachment for the spoiler. There's the engine and the driver. Look, you can see him. It's better than it was for the other car that I used in the other video. You can even see the driver. And while I'm getting out of the other car, you can take a look at Ren and Rig, see how he compares to the regular Hot Wheels model Ren and Rig. You can see the similarity in the design. Yep, yep, definitely Ren and Rig. And the other one to where the driver was hiding and I couldn't even see him was Bone Shaker. He got the driver so low, look, you can't even see him. He's way down in there. So I like this one. I like this one to where you can see the driver. He's up there in his driver's compartment. For chicane, I use these wheels here. Notice how the back wheel is just a little bit bigger than the front wheel, so it gives it a little bit of a, a high raker look. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at a regular Hot Wheel chicane, so you can see the similarity in the model. And of course, on the top, that black part I was able to pop on. See, it makes it gives it that look in the back. For the funny car, which is, I think it's funny side up from the Hot Wheels line, because funny side up, see how it has this part in the back like that? Yeah, funny side up in the regular basic Hot Wheels line, it has that wheelie bar too, so that the, the funny car doesn't flip over. Very common in funny cars is they have this little tiny wheel up front. You see how the, the front wheel is real tiny compared to the back wheel? So this is the configuration we're going to test today. This guy might not do good in the loop because this hangs. Actually, this that part looks like it's a little higher than the, yeah. Look, it's a little higher than the regular funny side up. I don't know. Maybe it'll work in the loop. Maybe he won't. Here's a look at the front. Here's a look at the spoiler in the back. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely funny side up. Look, it's got those uh, indentations there. From that truck and trailer pack, I'm going to use the Baja truck with these wheels. And the reason why I'm using these, they're off-road tires. But you see the base I use, the base is lower. See this one I'm going to test the off-road tires with the tall base. So look how, look how high up this guy is in the air. So this truck is going to be lower, but I'm still using the off-road tires. So this way I will have a comparison of the performance of these tires with the lower truck. And here is the regular Baja truck from Hot Wheels. This one doesn't have an engine coming out, so this is kind of nice. By the way, these are metal bodies. Very nice touch. 
There's the back. Yep, whoops. That's the same. It's got the structure, got the big sweeping, swooping fenders. Yep. For the bone shaker, I'm using these wheels here. It has that plastic piece so you can pop it on and you make yourself a closed roof bone shaker. Or if you want to take it off, you got yourself an open roof bone shaker. So we'll be testing that one as well. When I showed this one, kind of wasn't sure when it was in the package what model it was. This kind of gave me a clue, but when I attached this spoiler, definitely knew what model that was. And thanks to Velocita Wheels, he was the first person to comment, yeah, that's Synchro. Pretty signature look with that uh, spoiler. And look, it's got this D type thing right here, a window. There's the window. Yeah, definitely. Definitely this model is Synchro. We'll be testing him with these wheels as well. Last but not least for the test. You gotta test him. No, the trailer's not gonna trailer's not gonna fit. He won't even go through the loop. So we have off duty. He'll be going with those wheels. I don't know. It might be a little high on the track to make it around the curves. Here's a comparison to the regular Hot Wheels off duty model. You can see in the back it has these lines. It has the lines in the back. It has the light apparatus on top. So you can see the light apparatus on top. Now the window is a little bit different, the front window is the same, but uh, they took it out for the truck because for the truck you can attach things like smokestacks, so you can put these for uh, smokestacks. I got one for the other side too. Here's my setup for today's test, a 30 inch drop, that's the standard for Hot Wheels track, a regular straight loop which is the easiest for them to go through, nice long straightaway. We got the curve come back and then another curve, a coasting curve on this side. It's not a high bank curve. It's just allowing them to coast around. And we're going to see which cars do better and how well the snap rides do against the regular counterparts. Let's go for the fail right up front. We got this. We got the off duty way up in the air. And then he'll, I'll stand after that. I'll send the regular Hot Wheels model and let's see how they do. I don't even know if that this big high truck's going to make it through the loop. Hey, you made it through the loop and kind of ran out of gas on the curve. So we're just going to knock him over. We're going to put him right there. That's his spot. We know he landed there. And I'm sure we're going to see a much better performance out of the regular model. All the way. Now we're doing the bone shakers. Up first we'll do the snap rides with the roof. Pretty good. And we'll mark him right there. That's how far he, far he got. Now the closed roof bone shaker. All the way. Now we're going to test the open roof bone shaker. So I'm going to pop this off. He was about right there. I'm going to use this Batmobile. We're going to put the Batmobile since he's uh, black. Put him right in the spot so we have the mark. Take off the roof. Here he comes without his roof. To compare against the open roof bone shaker. He wound up about the same spot without the roof. And the regular Hot Wheels model with the open roof. All the way. Chicane! Look how I made him real fancy. The first snap on, snap rides, I mean. Not bad. Hey, you want him in the same spot? We're gonna have a pile right here. I'll move this because this is with the roof. Synchro. Regular. So while the snap right parts are not making it as far, they're, they're doing very well. Baja truck, look at them lifted way up in the air. Not quite as high as it was with the off-duty truck, but I still think he's going to have issues down there in the curve. He barely even made it to the curve. Come back. We'll let you have one more try. Now if we put regular wheels, he'll probably do all right. Yeah, when they're high in the track like that, you know, it's a high center of gravity, they kind of weeble wobble. 
and the regular Baja truck. Actually, that's not true. This Baja truck is actually from the Team Hot Wheels line. He has the higher high speed wheels or something like that. Uh, well, wheels might be high speed, but body's not able to handle it. One more time. I'm going to pinch and flare my track right here just to make sure. They might be bumping it. I'm going to pinch and flare. Pinch the side that they come from and flare the side they're going to. Pinch this side, flare the outside. Last try. Surprising. Was not expecting that. Hey, get out the road. Funny side up. You know, you know, we got we don't know what's gonna happen with that wheelie bar he's got in the back. Might be rubbing in the loop. Oh, here comes the Hot Wheels version, funny side up. Oh yeah, see he didn't make the loop because he's got that, that wheelie bar in the back. It made it drag when he was going through the loop. I'm not even going to give him a second chance because I know he's going to rub in the loop. Chicane! Oh yeah! This one's a little high up than the regular Hot Wheels model. Let's see how he does. Hey, we, we might have an issue with, that, with them coming out of the loop. Second chance. Nope. Not good. We'll just leave him there because Chicane's going to blow right by him. And you know he would have made it all the way. Watch. Well, not quite all the way. Here comes Ren and Rig. Oh. Oh no, look out! Wipe out! Regular Ren and Rig. One more time. Alright, we're going to give the snap rice that did not make it all the way around. We're going to give them another chance because I, I put some wheels on so they're low to the ground. Check out Check out the football player. Yeah, I took him out of the Ren and Rig. And uh, look, he's, he's sticking up out of the hood. So it does work. If you put another driver in Ren and Rig now, he's sitting back there. I don't know how he's going to see the drive. Here's the other ones we're going to do. Got them low to the ground with uh, the lower wheels and the lower, bu uh, the lower base. And we're going to do synchro again just because we can. Here we go. Off duty with the guy in the hood. Oh, didn't make it. One more time. Yeah, they're coming out of my loop, and they're not landing on the track. I don't know why. Let's see, we have it straight. Do a little adjusting. Oh, I got a little nick right here. This side is supposed to be on the inside, and this side is supposed to be flared out. Maybe that's making them crash. Say go! All the way. Ren and rig with the backseat driver. You didn't see that. There you go. Chicken. Chicken. Excuse me. And last but not least, Synchro with the super boosters. Now let's test the models I had on the inside of the track. Here we have the Angry Birds Minion Pig from Hot Wheels. Nope. Angry Bird, look out! Minion Pig, here comes Angry Bird! Yeah, you both wiped out. Snoopy, no, we better get Angry Bird out of the way. Snoopy, Snoopy sits kind of high, so we better get him out. And since we have Angry Bird, let's do him one more time. Yeah, he's going to crash. Maybe not. Oh! Oh! Snoopy! Smoking! This next one here is a Chrysler 300C Hemi from Maisto. It's from a couple years ago. 
And they're not track cars. They look pretty though. Well, if you don't look at the wheels. Here we have a Ford F-350. I think this might be the steak bed truck variation version. That's a matchbox, by the way. What happened? I was messing around with this steak bed and I popped it up. One more time. Get in line. Here comes Star Lord from the Hot Wheels Marvel character cars. Very good. How about Bumblebee? He was released a few years ago from the Transformers line from Hasbro. Yeah, that's my fault. I didn't get him in the track right. Here we have a Spider-Man, another uh, Marvel character car from Hot Wheels. Oh, I didn't quite make it. Sorry, no help. And last but not least, how about a Tomica? This is the Toyota Harrier. Look, it has an opening back. Yeah, kind of nice having opening features. I don't know if Tomica still has opening features. But anyways, uh, let's send them down the track. I seen them sliding out of the lane over there. That was kind of fun, testing to see the snap rights, how well they work on the track. Don't forget, if you want to see the review of the truck and trailer, I show you how all the pieces come apart and you put them together. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.